In this video, we will review SiriusXM's fish mapping plankton information using a Garmin display. Let's start by clicking on the fish mapping icon on the home screen. After clicking on the fish mapping icon and selecting menu, you will see three tabs listed at the top of the screen. When the top tab is selected, the fish mapping menu is available. By clicking on the layers menu, you can access the fish mapping features. The second button under layers will give you access to the plankton concentration features. Plankton information is updated every 24 hours. Now select contours. Press the menu to view plankton concentration contours on the full screen. Plankton is the primary food source for most bait fish, which attract hungry game fish. Anglers often use the term chlorophyll. As chlorophyll is a byproduct of plankton, fish mapping uses the term plankton for these features. Plankton concentrations show contour lines with the amount of plankton in a given area measured in milligrams per cubic meter. If you look at the legend, you will also notice that the areas with less amounts of plankton are shaded in light green and the areas with greater amounts of plankton are shaded in darker green. For the next feature, return to the plankton concentration menu and select front string. Press menu to view plankton fronts on the full screen. With this feature, you can locate where there are areas of greatest plankton concentrations adjacent to areas where there is relatively little or no plankton. Strong plankton fronts indicate areas for game fish feeding activity. Like sea surface temperature fronts, plankton fronts are based on a scale from one to four, one being a weak front, two being moderate, three being strong, and four being a very strong front. Ideally, you're looking for a strong or very strong front as these are typically the most productive areas. If you look at the legend, you will also notice that the areas with the weakest fronts are shaded in light green and the areas with the strongest fronts are shaded in a darker green for easier identification. A good tip to remember is the likelihood of locating game fish will ultimately increase by using several fish mapping features in combination. For additional information and videos, please visit our fish mapping website at SiriusXM.com forward slash fish mapping. For videos specific to your brand of display, visit our marine video library at SiriusXM.com forward slash marine library. And for even more about using SiriusXM Marine features, visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash SiriusXM Marine. In addition, please follow us on our social media sites. If you have questions, feedback, or would like to share a story, please email us at marine.support at SiriusXM.com. If you have specific questions about your Garmin hardware, please email marine.training at garmin.com.